No. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? We're doing a special live for you today. Since it is the solar eclipse tomorrow, if you happen to be in the area of America uh, tomorrow, roughly around about, I think it's uh, 11 ish a.m. Uh, you know, Mountain Standard Time. That's where I currently am at the moment. You're going to be wanting to see the eclipse. And what I found out is people everywhere have been struggling to get some sort of like eyewear because, as you all know, you cannot stare directly at the sun at any point until it's completely covered up if you happen to be in that small radius and you get 100% coverage. Um, so don't even do it, guys. You burn your eyes out, and that's not a good thing. So what I'm going to show you today is how that you can make a viewer to see the eclipse tomorrow, not directly look at it, but to get a reflection so you can see it all taking place with just some simple things that you can find in your house. It's really easy to do. First things we start with a cereal box, any cereal box to do, it doesn't really matter. And all you have to do is basically cut off two corners, which I'm going to show you now. It's really easy to do, guys. Super easy. Hang on, I'll show you in a minute. Try and get this nice and even. Even Stevens. As even as possible, as you possibly can, you know, winging it. As you may know, guys, we're traveling around at the moment, so a lot of this was improvisation. Some of you will have, you know, more items in your house. Okay, some of you will have more items in your house than I currently have at the moment because we're traveling around the world. So we're just sort of making the best of what we got. I like Apple Jacks. If anyone likes Apple Jacks, it's a pretty cool thing to like. I like that cinnamon crunch in the morning. Um, I haven't eaten all the cereal yet, but you just ask your parents, say, hey, mom, dad, can I take out the, uh, can I take out the, you know, the, the, the bag and, you know, just uh, eat it at a later date. So here we go. I think we've got this all sorted out now. We want to cut down here like this. It's all good. And then we'll cut down here like this. There we go. Get rid of those bits. Save that for later. <laughs> or get JB Mum to clean it up off the floor, which I'm sure she won't mind. Here we go, here we go. How's this for improvisation? Look at that, look. All ad libbing. All the ad libbing. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, now that's the super duper boring bit. Remember, if you're young as well, ask a grown-up to do the, you know, the scissor bit for you as well because it can get really sharp. So what I've done is I've made one end slightly bigger. You can make it even, it doesn't really matter. But um, I probably not deliberately, but I made one bigger end and one smaller end. This could be the viewing end and this can be the end where the sun will shine directly down and I'll show you what you need to do next. If you live in America, you call it aluminum foil. If you live in anywhere else in the world, it's called aluminium foil or tin foil for short. It's super easy to do. Take out a bit of a chunk of it. Voila! There you go, look at that. Bob's your uncle. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to cover one side, okay? It's better to tape it down. So you can trim it and tape it down. But I don't have any tape. It's not a requirement when you're traveling, apparently, to have any tape whatsoever. Literally, that's all you need. So if you want to make it look nice and neat, it will make it a lot better. Trim it down a little bit around the edges and put, you know, whack a little bit of household tape in. Any tape will do just to make sure you keep that in place um, and tape the whole thing together. And then next up, what you want to do, before you've done any of that, and I've just totally forgotten, you need something to see at the bottom. The great thing about cardboard boxes is it's already dark in there. It's brilliant. It's like, woo! It's already dark in there, but you need something for the sun to shine on, you know, that will sort of pop. The best thing you can do is a piece of paper, and what I did, I just got a regular piece of paper, whacked it down like that, got a pencil, drawn around the bottom of the box, cut it out. Here's one I made earlier, <laughs> as you do, save a bit of time, whack that in the box, it should fit nicely, you don't even need to tape it in. You don't, you don't even need to tape it in. It just squidges in there all nicely, all on its own. I feel like some sort of game show host, and this is what you do next. And there you go, look at that look. And then it gives a, like, a, a really bright white sort of uh, setting underneath. And then we return to the bit where you're supposed to put that on like that. Like I said, cut it around, tape it on. Right, the next part, someone, I heard people say, you know, use a nail. You wanna get a sort of a, a smallish hole, roughly the diameter of a nail, but I don't have any nails because funny enough, when you're traveling around the world, I don't need to hang any shelves. So I don't have any nails in this place I'm staying at the moment, but what I did have is my GoPro, like screw-on device, that this is the closest I have. It may be a little bit too big, it may not be. I probably highly doubt it, it will be uh, you know, too big, I think it'll be fine. And what you want to do is you just want to poke boop, like that, poke a little hole straight in the top there, and nail will actually make it a more of a sort of a rounded hole because it's got the pointy end. 
This is uh, flat, so it makes more of a tear than a hole. So I suggest you use something a little bit more pointy, but again, be careful with sharp objects. And there you go. So what you want to do after that, once it's all taped on, you want to aim it tomorrow at the sun, okay? Don't look directly at the sun, but aim the box. So it'd be helpful if you sit, you know, with your back to the sun, if it's up in the sky. Make sure you have a bit of wiggling about, but you're looking here, and you sort of, look, I've got it now. You can't really see, guys. I wish I could show you. But you get the sun in there, and what it will show you is that, like a round ball. That will be the sun. And as the eclipse passes over the sun, you'll notice that that perfect sphere that you have glowing down on the piece of paper will slowly, slowly, but surely, you know, eclipse over. And there you go. A nice, easy way for you or the kids to view the solar eclipse tomorrow if you don't have any glasses and you, you just want to enjoy it. So that is it, really. That is all you have to do. Obviously, yours will look a lot bit, you know, a little bit neater than mine. Uh, this is pretty much all we've got to work with at the moment. Apple jacks and aluminium foil. So that's it. Nice, short, brief one. Okay. If you want as well, guys, make sure you subscribe to our Instagram as well. It's Jellybean TV UK. You'll be able to see all the uh, bits and pieces. I'm going to take some photos, okay, on there as well. And also as well, if you do this, if you use my idea, okay, I want you to tag us on Instagram as well. I want to see you do this. Tomorrow, everyone that makes this, okay, watching this video, I want you to try it out. I want you to take some photos. You can literally get right in there with a the camera, take some photos. I want to see you doing this. I want to see you having fun, okay? I want to see you having fun. And don't forget, guys, as well, if you found this useful as well, we do daily vlogging every single day as well and all sorts of other stuff. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Boom, boom, and ring that notification bell as well because otherwise you'll miss all the cool things like this live because we'll be doing so many more lives going forward as well. So thanks very much, uh, guys and gals. Really appreciate it. Make sure you join us tomorrow as well because we will be going live again during the eclipse. So if, you wanna, if, you, if you're not in America and you're anywhere else in the world or you just simply don't want to go outside, like me, I don't like going outside. It's, it's hot. So if you want to join us tomorrow, guys, we will be doing that. That's posted on our Instagram as well. We'll be going live 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, which is in England, I believe, 6 p.m. Uh, GMT as well. So make sure you join us for that, and you'll get to watch the splendor of the eclipse uh, live from your living room chair with a nice cold drink on beverage. So thanks very much, everyone, for joining today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe. We love replying to all your comments, guys and gals, and we will see you tomorrow. Much love. Bye.